A U.S. tourist is shot and wounded in Cancun after assassins leap off jet skis and shoot two beach gift shop workers dead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell as I come out with new videos every week. Let's get into the story. An American tourist was shot and wounded in Cancun after two assassins leapt off jet skis and sprayed a beach gift shop with bullets, killing two workers inside. The woman named Kanya was struck while browsing the store on the Playa Tortugas around 2 p.m. Friday afternoon. She is not believed to have been targeted by the executioners, but got caught in the crossfire of their shooting. Afterwards, the assassins sprinted back to their jet skis and fled the scene. Sounds like a movie. The victims have not been named and no arrests have been made. According to Noti Caribe, Kanya was taken to the Amerimed clinic where she was denied treatment because she did not have enough money to cover the medical expenses. Kanya was then transferred to Cancun General Hospital where she is in stable condition and will remain under observation for at least five days. Now, this happened on June 11th. Hopefully, you know, she's good now. You know, news outlets have tried to reach out to her, but they haven't heard anything from her. So, video footage from newspapers de peso showed Kanya being wheeled to an ambulance and asking for water while a female friend stood by her side so it was probably like a little girl's trip they just went out to relax and it's taking the sun and the sights and all that stuff and she got shot in the shoulder it's a good thing that she didn't lose her life but you know it's a crazy situation you know especially that she didn't have any travel insurance the outlet also reported that the airline that Kanya flew with to Cancun was charging her a fee to change the date of her return flight back home that's cold Quintana Roo State Attorney General's office said the U.S. Embassy had contacted Kanye's family and assisted them in the process they peso reported. A State Department source told DailyMail.com that they are aware of the injured woman's situation and stands ready to provide necessary assistance. So what they're saying, but she didn't have any money and they almost didn't take care of her at the hospital. Um... Send, you know, sending prayers to that lady, sending prayers to that lady's family. I'm sure it's a traumatizing experience. You know, perhaps, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like she was part of the situation. It's not like she was a target. It's not like she owed anybody in Mexico or she was involved in any kind of shady dealings. And she just got caught in a crossfire after she paid upwards of a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars, whatever the price was for a flight, the hotel, the drinks, the food. And she got back with a bullet wound. Let me know what you guys think of the situation, especially that, you know, especially that they didn't want to take care of her at the hospital because she didn't have any travel insurance, according to what they're saying. I hope it doesn't deter you from traveling, especially if you thinking of going on a resort. You know, the perception is always, you know, the resort is safe. Um, you know, this shouldn't deter you from traveling. I'm just letting you know what's going on. There's millions of people that travel every year and they go back to where they come from without any scratch on them. You know what I'm saying? It's just an unfortunate incident, but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if something crazy happened to you or a friend while traveling abroad. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you on the next video. Peace out.